Hey, so it's Jesus Revezzo from Sistema North Pinellas. Uh, among other things, Revezzo's training systems, triangle athletics. But uh, tonight I just wanted to talk to you real quick from the, the current studio uh, about the speed of change. Uh, people want to change things all the time. Sometimes they don't know where to begin. Sometimes they know where they are beginning, but they just can't seem to get going from it. Um, what I want to say about the speed of change is there's two basic speeds of change that I think that we can talk about. One is the immediate lightning fast speed of change and then the other is the long, more drawn out, relaxed, take your time speed of change. So <clears throat> the difference, part of it is the first, the lightning fast, the immediate speed of change is when you decide to change something. As soon as you decide to change something, there it is. You made your decision. And that's one of the key things that we can talk more about it later is the fact that you have to make a decision at some point. Okay, I've had my own issues before where you kind of float on this side of a question and this side of a question and it's very stressful. But as soon as you can make your solid decision, boy, things get a lot easier. So that's the first part. That's the fast, the quick speed of change. The second part the long drawn out speed of change. Okay, that one is now that you've made the decision, it's like putting a seed in the ground. You put the seed in the ground, you cover it with dirt and fertilize it, and you water it, and you tend to it. Every day you make little adjustments and little tweaks to that, that dirt and that seed, and eventually it sprouts, and then again you tend to it, you water it, and you care for it, and you can look after it. And so basically what you're doing is you're establishing habits of care to make sure that that seed that you planted on that immediate speed of change, that lightning fast speed of change, putting that seed into the ground, now you develop the habits of care and maintenance. And you go back to it all the time. You know exactly what you planted and you know so that what you planted was the beginning of where you want to end. So sometimes you actually have to go backwards. You have to go way to the end. You have to get what it is you want and you have to figure out backwards. You have to reverse engineer what you want so you can take that seed and you can put it in the ground. And so once you've made that lightning fast decision, then you develop the habits that are going to get you to the end, that are going to habits that are going to help you maintain that seedling and that sprout into the plant, into the harvestable, if that's even a word it is now, the ready to be harvested finished product. So whether for you it might be fat loss, that might be strength gains, that might be reduction of anxieties and fears, that might be a better way to protect yourself and your loved ones, you first make the lightning fast speed of change decision to get that seed and you put it in the ground you say I'm gonna do this and now you create those little habits that take you one day at a time maintenance movements and lessons and everything that you need to get to the very end to be able to harvest that idea that you wanted you didn't get into the position that you're in in one day you're not going to get out of the position that you're in in one day. But if you don't start now, when are you going to start? When are you going to be able to reap that harvest if you don't first put the seed in the ground and create the habits that are going to get you to the end? Think about it. Feel free to contact me or come down to the school. You can go to Revezo Training Systems. Actually, you can't. Have a good night.